Okay guys, so you may remember the time where uh, we were stripping the steel out of all of this cable. 511 kilos. Well, today's the day where we're going to go and sell the cable and find out how much it all weighed. And therefore I can see how close was I to 476 kilos in total weight with the steel removed. And as you can see, I have everything loaded up. And we have a bit of a variety of things to sell today. Ranging from cable, no not the, uh, the brake, <laughs> it's just the weight cable. All that cable, which I removed the steel out of. And we've got some number one copper, number one copper, and the wheelie bin, also full of number one copper. Bloody awesome. We also have some uh, big rags. As we walk around, we also have extruded aluminium and more rags from aircon heads. I got more extruded alley in the boot of the car. So we're going to hit the yard and we're going to find out how much we got and how much we get for all that cable with the steel removed. I've got a pretty good idea. I've already shared it with you in the last video, but let's find out for sure. So, finally back from the scrapyard. The important bit of paper is right here. Refreshments needed for the day we've had, and the return trip provided some goodies. So let's have a closer look. So we'll start off here. We sold all the scrap and we've come back with this lot because we made a couple stops on the way home to do some collections and uh, we have some very nice cable here to start off with. I don't know how many meters, but just a little bit. We've got more here as well. It's quality stuff quality we love quality and then we've got some foam insulated copper which we will peel off and turn it into number one as well as cut these brass ends off for clean brass we are also returning with this number one copper, although not so number one that one, but we can tidy that up and we can just cut the bit of burnt off and leave the rest as number one. Too easy. We also have that cable there. Uh, it's actually a mix of a uh, pretty good strippable cable. It does some that's just uh, shit and into the low grade department. Even that orange TPS there. It's a uh, three core cable, but it's actually stuff that's worth stripping. And we've also got two air cons, heavy units, which is always good. And uh, plenty of copper etc to be found inside these so uh not a bad return trip oh and not to mention on the ground here small roll well however many meters again of aluminium cable insulated insulated alley and um we will run that through the machine at a later day bloody unreal And so we return to the bit of paper. The 
bit that everyone loves. And you can see that's what we had. And this bottom bit here, that was the bin full of black boas. Yep, the cable that had a bit of steel and that I removed. So moving along, raising things up, raising the bar, there we go. So for all that cable, I worked on there being 474 kilos, but it came in at 478. Whether my uh, workings out was slightly wrong, or the tear on their bin that they had written on was slightly off. Either one, I'm not complaining. Heavier is better. So we got $3.95 a kilo for that cable, as I said in uh, yesterday's video. And uh, I only paid $1.50 a kilo for it, so not a bad return at all. Very, very good return, as you can see. And that's all the rest there, as you can also take a look at. My hands are slightly wobbly, and it's a little windy. So for today, not too bad, the overall payout. Probably still got at least another three or four grams of stuff there under the house and etc. Ready to, well it's not ready to go, needs processing. Some is ready, some isn't, but that's that. Not a bad day at all. And that brings us to the end of yet another incredible video. Now some people ask why don't I make the videos longer? Now that's a fair question. And uh, the reason why I kind of keep them shorter is that people's attention spans kind of uh, wander away, if you know what I mean. I'm the same. Short attention span and I kind of lose interest in things if it doesn't keep me engaged or whatever, you know. This is what it is. So anyway, kind of find a balance in the time frame of how long I make them. If bad things improve or whatever, you know, maybe I might chuck a longer one in here and there. But anyway, it's time for me to wrap this up and I'm going to uh, peace out. Uh, thanks for watching if you did. Like and subscribe if you can. That will be unreal. I have to unload this trailer, put all that shit away and I can uh, continue on enjoying my uh, Ned's beverage. Although it's not written on there, it's hiding. So anyway, have a great weekend everyone. We'll see you all again sometime soon. So uh, catch you in the next video. Ciao for now.